times a day or work on a tote bag. That would be great for toting all of those things around for fun summer activities. So joining us to get things rolling is Sarah Christensen, the owner of Board & Brush Creative Studio. Good morning, Sarah. Welcome morning. back. Thanks. We get to, uh, I, I, you planned accordingly here. Yes, these are perfect. <laughs> See you at the beach and Krista's doing a nice I get a wine trip, bag. So, on Friday. <laughs> so it's going to carry her bottles as she That's comes That's perfect. Back. Yeah, I'm going to be going clink, 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 clink. <laughs> but, okay, so what are we doing here? What's the okay. process, Sarah? Um, so I've already put the stencils on the totes for you. Mm -hmm. So the next step is there's a piece of clear transfer tape on the top here. So you okay. guys will kind of just very carefully pull that off. Mm -hmm. okay. The stencils don't stick quite as well but to the totes okay. as they do to the boards, but that's not a problem. We're so is the open area sticky then? So where the paint's going to stick or this is not where quite? The, this is where we're going to paint, yep. Mm -hmm. And so you just want to make sure your stencil paint stays down on the tote there as you peel mm -hmm. this off. Okay. So I'll let you go ahead and work on that. Yeah, so just okay. And just go nice and slow. Make sure your stencil stays stuck down to the tote oh. there. And the stencil's breaking over here. Oh, but there's oh. a couple pieces of tape there. Yeah. Is um, it um, oh. reusable in any way? Is that, or is it kind of one and done? This ah, the stencils tape? or the oh, transfer I'm tape? I'm not good at this. <laughs> um, usually, it, you probably could use it again. We usually don't. Oh, I see. You put in a couple layers. Yeah. Okay. There's a couple um. pieces on there. Oh. And then, so. do they, so you can get these tote bags at your shop, Sarah, when you come in? You don't have, do you, or do, is this something you need to BYO for your um, own? No, we do have the totes. It's one of the specialty workshops that okay. we offer mm -hmm. at the studio. So um, we don't do tote workshops very often, but mm -hmm. um, this summer we're running kids camps. Um, and so we oh, are... Oh, they they're the ones oh. that need the totes. Yeah, so they are projects in some of our kids camps that we have going on. Oh, gosh. Is that like an all-day thing for kids? Um, so they run Monday through Thursday. Um, there's a morning session from 10 to noon or an afternoon from 1 to 3. I'm assuming you sign up in advance for that, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So they get to do a different project each day. Oh, fun. Um, okay, so tote right. bags. you got a bunch of stuff going on. We have, yes, we yeah. have tote bags. Um, we have doormats that we do usually about once a month. Um, this summer we'd like to do the porch planners. Um, oh, sure. Also do... Um, cornhole boards is big for us in the summer, so we've got a couple oh, wow. of oh, cornhole board workshops coming up. Um, do you make your own design? Do you, like do you make the designs for people, or do they kind of bring bring or do their own and like freehand it type of thing for the cornhole boards? Uh, no, they're stencils. Oh, so they're all stencils. Yep, okay. Yep. How did you do yours so fast? Mine Krista? was a lot easier than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a lot less involved. Mine's just the wine glass idea. <laughs> that, is, that might be a good point. Are some projects easier than others then, or is it kind of just the same? concept I guess or it doesn't really matter? Um, we definitely do have I mean some if there's like you can kind of tell the difference between these two like this one there's not nearly as much mm -hmm. letters and stuff like that so that's going to be a little bit easier than mm -hmm. something that's got more letters on it a little more intricate design and stuff like that. Um, so we then do what are we doing here? What's the totes our, we actually mix the paint yeah, with the is, textile okay. medium. Okay Ew. so interesting. Like of about a 50-50? Uh, two to one. So two to one. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So I feel like I'm going to have some extra here. But yep. That's all right. It, so I'll do that. <laughs> so then we can just kind of take your brush and kind of mix up the paint a little. Okay. Mix it mm -hmm. up. And then you're just going to, again, like we did last time, you're just going to dab it onto the tote. You don't want to brush back and forth. Okay. Just kind of dab, dab, dab. Is it like a chalky material here or is it more like paint paint? Or it, paint, paint, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep, just an acrylic paint. Okay, and the color it, doesn't change much. I thought it was going to dilute the color a little bit, but it doesn't. Yeah. No, it shouldn't. It's pretty much the same. Okay. All right. So, so is mine w mixed well enough? Yep, it's you good. Okay. So on the, the one that we have in the gallery that we've okay. done, they did the cheers in black and okay. then the outside Ooh. of the glass here, Ooh. and then this is beer. Oh. Oh, so, so you could do different ones. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we're going to go to commercial break here, yeah. but we're okay, going to continue wait. the paint, and we will be back with okay. more board and brush. And yes. 